You know, maybe you could just take us behind the rationale uh, where you've slotted Huberto, for example, this this game. Because we've slotted him everywhere else, it hasn't worked. What, what might those two guys bring out in him that you're hoping for? I think there's, they're similar type players. Not bringing anything out of him. He's a good player. He's got to get going. Right? Enough talk about it. Is that ultimately on the player? To, Pardon? Is that ultimately on the player to get going? Hundred percent. You get to play lots, perform. It's not. Shouldn't be. Unusual statement, is it? What can the guys do to uh, generate more chances on the power play? Uh, I think it. You know, I think Jonathan helps that a lot. We haven't had him, for sure. Uh, you know, it's not about more chances. It's it's it's. It's own time shots, possession, and for the most part, we've been pretty good at it. It just gets highlight when you don't win a game. Then they say, well, then it's your power play. But it's not that big a deal. The guys that have scored power play goals for us have scored power play goals for us. I think that uh, most teams have a big shot from up top, that sort of thing, which is something that, you know, that we don't have. So you have to you generate your opportunities from other parts. Does Milan's skill set complement uh, Nazem and Andrew on that second line? They've done it for a grand total of seven minutes and 18 seconds, so I'm not quite sure how to answer that one. What growth have you seen in Adam Rajitska's game? Uh, I think Rosie's, you know, I said training camp, he was a much, you know, he put in a really good summer in terms of training and all his on ice, off ice. Uh, Lifestyle, that sort of thing. Done a really good job. He just didn't take that step in training camp. But when you're challenged to get some offense, uh, you know he's one guy that I think that can provide it. And another part of it too is uh, if we are going to be a playoff team, I think it's important that we have some young players take a next step. And and he's shown that lately for sure. Daryl, what do you see in Adrian Kempe now that he's a six-year pro? He's a mature player in terms of his whole skill set. That'd be number one. You know, you, I, I think for sure you've seen him as an 18, 19 year old, and then his first three year, three years pro as a as a high-end skill set player. But I think you've just seen a real mature game out of him now, and you know, he's a guy that can play a lot of situations, which. Every coach loves, and they can play a lot of posi- play uh, if you need him. Play all three positions too. Is that something that you could see in his game? I remember you being complimentary with him yeah. at, at an early training camp. Yeah, um, I think what was really important is when you see his background, um, playing when he'd play on those national teams, how they'd slot him. You know, and they'd slot him as in that checking role or in that penalty killing role. And even though he was a first round pick, so everybody thinks, well, he's this high end offensive guy. But you could see that with him, right? And he had the the uh, skating ability and the size always. Hey, Daryl, uh, Nikita, game 500 tonight. Have, are we seeing a level of consistency from him that, um, you know, I think he's talked about that he's wanted to have in his game, but just that it's, you know, been there this season for him? Yeah, I think you're still, you know, you're still searching. Is he's only 20, was he seven? So you're still searching for that consistency out of him, but I think he's taken a big step in that. I think that's something we talked to him about in the summer when, when, uh, when we lost Eric that he had to take that uh, that part of it more. And I think he's done it, and especially with with uh, the Shelly and, and Tanny uh, not available or not available very often. I think that uh, Z's done a really good job. How have you noticed Trevor Lewis's play evolve from when you started coaching him to <laughs> where he is now? You know, in a lot of ways, Trevor's, you know, that's that's the classic guy, right, of, of having, the, having the perfect player on your team in terms of, how he takes care of himself, how he practices, how he prepares, how he can play a role, how he can uh, understand what's going on during the game. I mean, uh, he's, a, he's a good player f- for LA. For He was a big part of championships, and he's been a really important player here, to be quite honest.